Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss part two of this presentation. We are going to discuss targeting and gang stalking and how it is done through the artificial intelligence super quantum conscious computer that is built into the global communication system using satellite and smart technologies including information on the 5G system that is currently being built. We're going to discuss digitized biology and artificial intelligence. We first discuss DNA synthesis. Notice the word sin. Anthony Patch states, spirits may further be defined and described as digitized biology, an organism replicated by software imitating life in silico. In silico means in the computer, digitized. By combining methodologies, biological and chemical, we arrive at a self-assembling, self-replicating hybrid, biological, nano-diamond, quantum computer intelligent, 600-cell, tetrahedronal, fourth-dimension quantum computer connected to other worlds. In other words, AI, artificial intelligence. Then we come to the Morgellons and the targeting connection. Many of us Morgellon suffers through our awakening to this illness and the realities of our lives. Many of us have become aware that we are in fact targeted individuals. In this section I'm going to be quoting information by Dr. Eric Karlstrom, by Anthony Patch, and Brian too. And Mr. Patch and Mr. Karlstrom heavily rely on Brian Tu's information. So if you're not aware of him, please gather some information on him. He's a very important person. Tens of millions of people worldwide are targeted and gang-stalked individuals. Most of them are unaware of this fact. They do not know this. The types of people that are targeted are often judicial, extrajudicial, meaning activists, whistleblowers, and dissidents, also targets of opportunity. They could be just about anybody, including victims of MK Ultra mind control projects from 1953 and forward up until today. Also lucrative targets, someone who is profiting heavily or may have profitable or rich enemies. Keep in mind here that a large number of people can be controlled en masse with this system. We're talking about direct behavioral control. When I first learned about targeting and gang stalking, the only question I had is how do you convince all of these people to run around the planet and harm other people and target them and torment them? And it, I just knew in my heart that it went way beyond money. Yes, people are greedy and yes, you can pay people to do just about anything, but it just didn't make sense to me. So I dug a little bit deeper into the information and how the perps, the perpetrators, we call them perps for short, of these crimes against humanity were created. So zombie slaves have literally been created using this advanced technology. These perps are being completely mind controlled to carry out the heinous crimes that they are committing. We have to discuss electromagnetism when we talk about this topic because we are electromagnetic beings. Electromagnetism changes the spin of quantum particles magnetically. The photons are what create the neural link. They are trying to manipulate our basic quantum bits in our brain by changing the spin. Magnetically, photons can change the spin of tubular dimers, which are binary pairs of ones and zeros. Anything that is done in a computer is done on a binary system, which exists only ones and zeros. As you change the spin, you change the information. It changes the zero to a one and a one to a zero and so on. This in turn changes the thought process and memory and you are controlled. This is already happening around the world on a grand scale. We are discussing here today a conscious super quantum computing system which I have come to understand involves the satellites, smart meters, smart technology, the cloud, the digital grid, 
fiber optics, and underground facilities. It is the 666 Beast Matrix system. The Good Book tells us that we will have victory over the beast. Revelation 15.12 states, And I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass mingled with fire, and also those who had conquered the beast and its image, and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. The Bible tells us this system will not prevail, that we will destroy the system of artificial intelligence. The sea of glass mingled with fire is a reference to the fiber optic system, the artificial intelligence system that has been created not to mention we are finding evidence of some fiber optic fibers, artifacts emerging from human skin and some of those afflicted with this plague. Joshua 10.1 states, Now it came to pass when Adonanzek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king and how the inhabitants of Gideon and had made peace with Israel and were among them. And in the, in the Bible, AI, the definition of AI is the ruins. We all know that ruins are things that had significance at one time. They no longer hold significance. So again, at a certain time in the future, AI will hold no significance. We are discussing a steady stream of consciousness between this quantum computer system and the TIs, the targeted individual's brain. The stream of energy is relayed from the conscious computer to the mind using satellite, cell towers, and mobile platforms. Anything that relays these signals, a truck, a car, a boat, a suitcase, anything can be used for these heinous crimes. The brains of the targets are digitized into ones and zeros the binary code using nanotechnology and implants in the body. The nanotechnology adheres to the neurotransmitters. Those are the little chemicals that dance around our brain that control our mood, our behavior, and those are things like serotonin and dopamine. The hidden carrier frequency that piggybacks on the continuous stream of electromagnetic energy interfaces with the nanotech inside the target's brain. There are two types of technology used to do this. One is the uh, computer brain interface. The other is a transcranial brain simulation. We are discussing nanotechnology of the blood and brain Think of Elon Musk and the neural lace. These gentlemen state that the nanoparticles are already within our systems. Most of us being sufferers are aware that the whole world is infected, that it is a certain group of us that are affected. Most people's nanotech is lying dormant. They don't even know that it's there. Targeted individuals' nanotech are not dormant. Enter Morgellon, stage left. Targeted people are now a test for when this goes live with everyone. They also state that the nanotechnology and nanoparticles are coming from the chemtrails, which most of us already know, which Mr. Kautzvela has described, and which many of us describe in our work. Transcranial brain simulation, brain-to-brain -brain contact, there are leaders of the hive mind teams and the clones. They inject impulses, memory attacks, verbal and visual entertainment, 2D images, short videos, dream modulation, neurolinguistic programming, thoughts, images, and holograms into the minds of the victims. I have had countless people give me their testimony on things that had happened to them and so many of these different aspects are connected to those experiences that these people are experiencing in their lifetime. Some of the symptoms of targeting victims of mind control are subject to hundreds of attacks daily sometimes. 
targets universally experienced tinnitus, which is a ringing in the ears. I have people tell me all the time they're dizzy, their ears are ringing, they hear a high-pitched noise in their ear. It does happen to me occasionally. And if I push that little thing down over my ear, the noise becomes louder. So I know that the noise is coming from inside of my head and not from an external stimuli. They also experience fossing, which is a light shadow provided for the target because their optic nerve is being disrupted by the stream of electromagnetic energy. So these hive mind teams usually consist of groups of three to six people. We are talking about the CIA, the DIA, the Department of Intelligence, the Central Intelligence Agency, and subcontractors involving psychiatrists, psychologists, cognitive researchers, and neuroscientists. A neuroscience conference can draw 30 to 40,000 people. These are people profiting from these horrific experiments on non-consenting citizens around the world. We're discussing the people in charge of these programs. They are psychopaths, sociopaths, and basically barbarians. The MK Ultra Mind Control Experiment began in 1953 and they never stopped. We are talking about trauma-based mind control and satanic ritual abuse, which most times can be generational satanic ritual abuse. The entire field of psychology is it complicit in these crimes. What is the 5G system? 5G connecting all of us to the beast system. Be on alert. Be aware of what's happening in the world around you, please. The computer brain interface is what we're talking about. It's a 2048 qubit system that is being marketed and sold as a 2000 qubit, calling it the cube, which I have mentioned before, the cube is representative of Satan and evil. The 2048 is the number of qubits in the D-Wave computer we are discussing here. The artificial intelligence system that has been built into the computer, excuse me, into the communications infrastructure is also a 2048 qubit system. So it is lining up to become the interface between the human and the machine is the 5G cell tower system. It is also the quaternary amplitude modulation of the 5G network. They are so easily convincing us that we need faster is better, right? It is the exact correlation. The qubits have a direct correlation in the number to the amplitude module of the 5G signal that is being broadcast. The 5G network is the transmission medium to complete the brain-to-machine interface. Here are some of the ways the system is using the target's information to build its own cognitive model of the target's brain. The supercomputer is constantly predicting your choices based on your past choice. The goal is to make a cognitive model of the victim's brain ultimately in the system. The system replicates and digitizes the will, intellect, and emotions, the literal soul of the human being, of the targets, and downloads this back into the conscious computer system. Gang stalking is also known as Street theater, it is used to create a continually hostile environment for the target victims. They harass and attack the target in order to constantly provoke the victim into an emotional response. This physical, emotional response in the brain can be remotely measured and digitized back into the supercomputer's data. The continually hostile environments everywhere the TI goes forces the TI into isolation and results in the target's inability to function in society. Many people who are targeted individuals have confided stories to me that would make your skin crawl. What these creatures are capable of boggles the mind. Physical and psychological trauma these are used to map out the sensory and neural pathways to the brain and the central nervous system. Long-term physical and brutal psychological trauma, which is called trauma-based mind control or satanic ritual abuse, 
is necessary to force the victim to disassociate themselves from reality as well as to map the brain by breaking it down to the synaptic level. The billions of neurons in the brain communicate through the synaptic gap. The nanotechnology that we all ingest from the chemtrails, etc., adheres to the neurotransmitters in our brain, our serotonin, our dopamine. This is how the technology is able to speak to you and decode your thoughts. Up next, we're going to discuss the nanoparticle quantum computer connection. The human brain is a quantum computer. Our brains operate as quantum computers. They teach the machines by developing algorithms from their observations and then they are able to predict future actions based on the patterns that are embedded in the algorithms. Recursive, which is an endless loop neural network program, is the bolts of the system. Endless loop of assessing, taking in, finding the errors, correcting the errors, and the self-learning of the AI system. This is happening constantly every second of every day that AI is learning from us. Everything that we are, everything that we do, everything that we think, everything that we eat, everything that we could possibly experience in our life. This is monitoring this. The computer is processing the information the same way we do with our brains. So here we have the organized stalking. It's based on choice reference patterns. Technology is used to read the target's choices to predict their next choices. Stalkers are pre-placed at places the TI may go. They will engage in situational scenarios and conversational scenarios. I've heard stories of people telling me they were walking in the grocery store and a 12-year-old girl walked past them and looked at them with this distorted face and said, you're going to fucking die out of nowhere and just walk away. I mean, things that you just wouldn't believe people would walk up to other people and say or they're following them, they're in the same, they notice the same vehicle with the same license plate always around them. This is all very real people. This is not a bunch of paranoid people running around the planet making up stories because they have nothing better to do. This is all really, really happening and I've heard stories for about the last eight years of my life that would just boggle the brain. The purpose of this is to capture the TI's attention they're targeting you and they want you to be aware that they are targeting you. They want you to be aware that they are gang stalking you. They want you to be afraid and live in fear and become a hermit and not leave your house. And these are the things they're doing to people. So then we discuss the synaptic response. Each time they capture the victim's attention, a synaptic response is produced that can be remotely measured and integrated back into the remote neural monitoring. <clears throat> the remote neural monitoring and remote neural manipulation is the data of the computer. The stalking scripts, the street theater, etc., are used to gauge whether the technology is working effectively or not. So when we use the term PSYOP, we use this term a lot, Sonny Irvin uses this term a lot, we're talking about psychological operations. Stalkers are often police, ex-police, or military personnel that are getting paid under the table. It is a form of covert, organized crime. This is a civil, military, interagency involving a PSYOP of electronic, neuropsychotronic directed energy weapons with the supercomputer. The purpose of the organized stalker is to surveil the victim, to keep the victim from defeating the technology, to discredit the victim, harass and provoke the victim into emotional responses that can produce an electromagnetic emission from our brain. All of the victim's responses are recorded and mapped by the system so they can build a predictive model of the brain. All mind control is based on censorship, restricting the victim's choices of behavior to prevent the victim from participating in other activities which constrict the program. In other words, divert them into isolation. 
We discussed memory management. All mind control is based on memory or memory management. What they do is eliminate the actual memory and inject untrue, falsified memories with the supercomputer technologies. The Mandela Effect is a PSYOP. People will begin to question their own memory or a recollection of things that existed. They will get to a point where they don't even remember their previous memory. By blocking real memories and injecting falsified and fabricated memories, that is the next step in the evolution of this process. George Orwell wrote a book. It was called 1984. In that book, he states, He who controls the past controls the future. He who controls the present controls the past. Here we offer some solutions on how to break out of the matrix. First of all, by not responding. If a target does not respond to the situational, controversial scenarios, the technology fails because it cannot be verified and they will have to start over again. Do not succumb. Get smarter. Watch and study them. Study the process. There are ways you can shield yourself from the system. It goes well beyond wearing an aluminum foil hat. The first one is passive shielding, mental shielding, chemical shielding, and electronic jamming. They tell you in these videos what to do about this. When this is happening to you, when you wake up and you realize that this is affecting your life and these things really are happening, all of these little strange synchronicities and coincidences that have happened and you just kind of chalk it up to nothing but then you realize there's hundreds of them after a while and you start to realize there's something bigger going on. So they tell you to multitask. Think in multiple threads. You can also whistle while you walk. Then they cannot see a coherent pattern on the screen and once again they have to start over. You can listen to music or dance. This disrupts the signal to the TI's brain. If you get a signal that is more powerful than theirs, your brain will entrain onto that signal. They are trying to entrain you onto their signal. So be spontaneous. Don't do something that is predictable. Don't follow the same schedule every day. Do one thing different every day that you don't do on any other day just to break out of that pattern. Also, you can use redirection. When you realize that you're under neural attack, redirect your thoughts to something that makes you happy. There's nothing they hate more than us being happy. So what I found really interesting when I was listening to these videos, most people know that I'm a very spiritual individual. I have a very deep connection to God. And when I was watching these videos towards the end of it, they started discussing different things. And what they mentioned was a holy firewall. Now these are scientists. These are, you know, people who have credentials and who have studied lots of different things, but they know in their hearts that when you have a strong faith and accept Jesus, the Holy Spirit affords you the full armor of God. And I discussed that earlier in my presentation. It is the best advice that I can give to any person out there that's listening to any of this information. Regardless of what you've done in your life, regardless of where you've been, regardless of who you are, you need to get right with God, and you need to get straight with Jesus. You need valid exception of the Holy Spirit into your body. When you have this constant communication with Jesus, that is quantum entanglement with Jesus. It is an unbreakable and encrypted code, your connection with Jesus. God and with Jesus. This is literally a phenomenon in quantum mechanics. The idea is that an unbreakable encrypted form of communication, that is why the D-Wave computer was originally built, to crack all forms of RSA encryption. They have done that and that's why they were funded by DARPA. So the communication between you and Jesus cannot be broken. It is prohibited. It cannot be disrupted. It cannot be recorded. It cannot be manipulated in any way. What they do is take your behavior as an outcome of your praying and communication 
and then determine by inferring from your patterns of behavior the information you just received from Jesus. Because they cannot monitor the connection between you and Him, your thoughts, your prayers, your heart chakra reaching out, there's no way that they can do that. So I just want everyone to be aware that, you know, you can listen to all the scientific information you want, but even these scientists who are well versed in all of this information, the bottom line is to get right in your spiritual self. Remember who you are, figure it out, find your connection, and make that connection. Because it truly is the only way that any of us are going to survive this. So please try to remember who you are and why you are here in physical form in this specific timeline. We are all born into a time where we are important, we are needed. There's a reason we are here. We signed up for something before we came. We have a goal. We have a purpose to be here. So please try to remember who you are. Find your spirituality and put on the full suit of armor of God. Divine protection is real and it is our most powerful weapon as we carry forth and battle on this modern day spiritual warfare. Thank you.